Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Dr. Sabi remains one of the most controversial figures in modern medicine. He was an herbalist and biologist whose alleged cure for AIDS and subsequent court trial are the subject of a forthcoming documentary. And his legacy of wellness and natural healing continues through his children, including our next guest, who is an herbal lifestyle counselor and practical nurse. Please welcome Ms. Kelly Bowman. So happy to have you yes, here. Yes, happy to have you. Your energy, your spirit is just... <sighs> It just exudes. Yes. And we can feel it all in the studio today. Yes. Thank you so much. Let's talk about your father, of course, a number of celebrities he worked with from Michael Jackson, John Travolta, Eddie Murphy, Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Um, but in your opinion, why do you think controversy followed him? Was it because of the truth that he told? Truth is always important. Truth is never easy. Yeah. But one of the things you got to realize is this path that he took was not conventional. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Being raised by a man who's not conventional, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. It's, it's very special and it's very unique and rare. Yeah. So that journey he took, not many, not many have been that way and yeah. not many have thought about going that deep and meditating in that way about the truth about our food. Mm -hmm. And he took it on with a fight. Yes, he did. Yes, Every day. To the yes. very end. Every day. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. Yes. So now there's a documentary being made about your father and his life. Um, and Nipsey Hussle was supposed to uh, be involved in it, but now Nick Cannon has taken over. Can you tell us how both of them became involved in this documentary? Well, interesting. Uh, so um, Nipsey did an interview and he was talking about the fact that he wanted to know more about that case in 1988. Mm -hmm. I was pretty young then and it was, it was pretty wild at that time. Very exciting, very exciting to see our father venge forward with the truth because we knew it to be the truth. Mm -hmm. So this was nothing new to us. So when Nipsey got a hold of it, he was interested in finding out why this man had not been able to go any farther than what he had by the information that was covered in that um, Supreme Court decision. He was exonerated. Yes. So why are we not celebrating him? Now we celebrated him all the time, yeah. we as his family, but no one else was talking about it. So I think he found a lot of interest in that subject and he wanted to know more. And unfortunately he didn't get to meet my dad. So he oh, only wow. knew him to yeah. um, the work he did. Well, I had anyway. the amazing opportunity to meet your father yes. through uh, Lisa Left Eye Lopez and of course her untimely death, your father's untimely death, and Nipsey Hussle's untimely death. And a lot of people try to throw the conspiracy theory out there. Uh, why do you feel like, you know, people are saying this and have you found this or in your spirit do you find some similarities? Yes. I do. Mm -hmm. um, very close to my heart and I've thought about that. You look at the whole picture of how everything came out, how it went. And every day I think about um, what the real story, only God knows. Yes. Right. Yes. And um, I hold that close to my heart and I know for sure that the message of the truth is not easy and maybe we have to die for it. Mm. He wasn't the first history person in history to come along mm. and have to share a story that he had to die for. But the truth is important. So yes. if you live with the truth, you'll die for the truth. All right. Wow. Yeah. Yes. That's good. Yes. Yeah. That's good. Well, why, why is it so important for you and your siblings to preserve his legacy? And what was the most important lesson you feel like you've ever learned from him? That's a good question. Those are two beautiful questions. As a child of Dr. Sabi, Alfredo Bowman, he was an incredible and awesome father. Um, the legacy that he leaves with us is just like when your mom taught you how to make a pie. Mm -hmm. The recipe of it all was, was soothing to you when you walked in the kitchen. You smelled things that were so important to you and when you smelled them it brought back memories of such beautiful times with your parents. Yes. So just like that, the herbal legacy that we have uh, is strong mm -hmm. and we have walked it every day. And to walk it every day reminds us of the love and support he had for others, not just for us, but right. for others. Yes. So the second question you have, what did I learn? So we were sitting in New York. We are, um, you know, we have to share our dad with many situations. So we're in New York, he's working, and all of a sudden TV comes on. And me and him are having a discussion, which we had a lot of. We had a lot of discussions. I miss those conversations. Dad, I miss them. So we're sitting there talking, and all of a sudden um, a clip from Mandela came over the TV. And Mandela said something that was really important, and I'm sitting there lacing up something, I, maybe my shoe, I don't know what I was doing, playing around. And he goes, did you hear that? So what did you think I heard? 
He said, did you hear what Mandela said? So what did he say? He says, well, he couldn't change what they did to him. They could, he couldn't change where he was, but he could change how he felt about it. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Now that moment. That was it. It set me free. Yes. Because that told me that I can think what I want. Yes. I can be who I want. And I can be okay mm. with it. Yes, oh. yes. Oh my. my goodness. And speaking of which, you are opening your store, Sabie's Daughters, yes. Yes. here in Atlanta. Tell everybody about that. What is the experience like? How can they partake in what you have to offer? and all that goodness. Well, Atlanta has taken me in. You have hugged me since I left the Los Angeles area. You guys have hugged and loved me. And I have um, grown to know some beautiful people and I'm in uh, Salon Panay. Yes! Now, now this woman is amazing, as you yes. know. Yes. And she's, uh, she vengeance for it for women in a way that's beautiful. So she asked me if this was something that I wanted to do and be the health and wellness in her shop. How could I say no? Right. So I'm in there and I have conversations with women and, and, and men, but mostly women, just sitting there talking to them in a part of their lives that's important, their beauty. And part of that beauty is how we eat. Yes. Yes. So we continue to have those conversations. So over tea, we just sit there and have a conversation. If there's yes. something I can offer, there I am. Yes. And that's where I'm supposed to be. Yes. So I enjoy it. It's a beautiful place. You see the flowy curtains. It's beautiful. And it sets a tone for women that I love. Yes. Yeah. Well, what do you think the biggest myth is about herbal healing? That it's a gimmick, that you take mm -hmm. it and quickly, you're going to be healed. Mm -mm. That's the, the biggest gimmick that I've ever heard, that it doesn't work and that you quickly take it, it's supposed to heal you. That's a false lie. That's not the way God depend, that made these mm -hmm. herbs for us. That's not what he wanted for our lives. He made these herbs to benefit us, so let's behave ourselves and know yes. this was the first medicine. Mm -hmm. And if we yes. deny ourselves what God has brought for us and eat this processed food, we're saying that God is not right. Wow. Oh, we're saying that he don't exist in our food. Mm. Uh, well, what would you say to that person who wants to begin an electric or alkaline lifestyle? I say, come, let's have a conversation about mm -hmm. it. It all starts with our minds and how we make that over. We are the sum of our experiences. Do yes. you agree? Yes, agree. absolutely. We are. So when we talk about our food, we have to sit there and be honest with ourselves. Don't we know what we don't, what we should eat, what mm -hmm. we're not yes, supposed to eat? we know eat? better. We know. <laughs> we absolutely know better. <laughs> we know. Wow. So with knowing, we first have to take that into consideration about where we are and where we want to go. So I arm you with what Mandela said, close your eyes and decide how I want to make this different yes. with that one thought, because you can. Absolutely. Oh, you. Thank you, you so can. much for your energy, for your light. And if you're in the Atlanta area, please make sure you go to Salam Panay and just sit with this amazing woman. For more information on Kelly's store, visit www.savysdaughters.com.